In this video, we're going to look at how to solve problems with 2D um, graphics um, using some of the node editing tools. Uh, in this particular case, uh, I'm going to click on Open Model, and from my desktop, I have saved a, um, an image that I found on the Internet. And you'll see that it's a fan, a uh, Chinese fan. And I'm going to, as we normally do, we will change the increments from um, DPI to inches. So it's 1.5 by 1.8 inches, roughly, is the actual size of this fan. I'm going to go to bitmap to vector conversion. And we're going to reduce the number of colors as we would normally do. Currently, there are 255 different shades of gray in this image. We're going to reduce those down to two. We're going to click OK. Now, well, the one thing that we're going to be noticing is that you can see there are points where the image kind of goes to the outer edge of this uh, workspace. And that can be an indication that sometimes trouble will, um, uh, there'll be some trouble when we do to create, go to create the vectors. So I'm going to click on create vectors. And you'll see that it created the vectors. We're going to reduce the um, contrast on the bitmap. And what I want you to notice is I'm going to zoom in very closely down here at the bottom. You can see where our problem is. is I, I'm just going to click off of this and click back on one of the vectors. You can see that this vector is actually created uh, the border around it, but it's actually connected to our image. And that's a problem because if right now, if all I wanted to do was machine just this fan, uh, it's very difficult for, for me to do that because I have all of these vectors that basically constitute an outer border. You'll probably see as I click here, there's one there. As I click up here, there's probably another one here. And so that can be a problem for us because we don't want that border to be there. So there's a couple of ways we can solve it. One of them is we could actually draw another border around this border so that it would machine basically a border around it, but then it would carve out the, the uh, fan. But if we want to really get rid of the border, which is really the correct way to do this, then it requires what we call node editing. So I'm going to zoom in on this nice and tight. And I'm going to go over here to the tool that's called Node Editing. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click on this particular vector. Now, you see when I do that, uh, a couple things happen. Uh, one is it highlights the um, vector that I've selected, but it also shows me what we call the nodes, which is are basically points where the geometry changes. And you can see where each of these blue points are. This represents those particular nodes. So now what I have the ability to do is I can now modify this. For example, uh, I can take uh, my cursor and I can move it over the, um, the vector. And all the power in node editing is in the right mouse click. So if I right mouse click, you can see there are all sorts of different options available to me. For example, I can convert the span to a line. I can convert the span to an arc. What I really want to do is remove this span. So basically, between wherever the two, the, the two nodes are, if I click on Remove Span, you'll see that it deleted that whole section. And as I zoom out, you'll see that in between those two nodes, that section is now completely gone. And let's zoom back in again. Now, with node editing still selected, I can now go over to this side. And on this side, I can, once again, I can right-click, and I can remove this span on this side. So now, basically, what I've done is I've disconnected these from that border. Now, if I click on this uh, node, or I click on this vector, and holding my shift key down, I click on the other vector, I'm just going to go out of node editing for a, section, go back for a second, go back to my selection tool, and you can see that I now have both of these vectors selected. And now I have the ability to join those vectors in several different ways. In this particular case, I'm going to join these vectors with a curve. So it should create a curve that goes around and connect those two vectors. So what I've essentially done is basically reconnected this. Now, you can see right now if I really wanted to clean this up, you can see that I've got this little piece out here that really it doesn't belong. I don't really want that there. If I wanted to get rid of that, once again, I can use node editing to correct that for me. I'm going to click on my node editing tool. And what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go up here and at about this point right here, I'm going to right-click. Once I'm on the line, I'm going to right-click. And you can see that I can insert a node. I'm going to insert a node there. So I now have the ability to disconnect another portion of this. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to remove this span. 
and I'm going to do the same thing at about this point right here. I'm going to add a node. So I'm going to insert a node there. And then we're going to remove the span to the right of that. And now I can very simply delete this section here that I didn't want. And I will click on the first vector. So down here, holding my shift key down, click on the second vector. Once again, go back into um, my select tool. And we will also join those with a curve. So now I've reconnected those. And so what I've done is not only reconnected this bottom, but I've also cleaned up uh, that little piece that was uh, maybe sticking out there that I wasn't uh, interested in continuing to have. So I can go over here and do the same thing over here. As I zoom in, you can see I once again will go to my node editing tool. I'm going to remove this fan. Make sure I'm clicked on it. I'm going to remove that span. I'm going to go up here to this one, to this vector. I'm going to remove that span. You can tell when you're not clicked on it because you get a different menu. I remove that span. And then I'll go back to my select tool. I'll pick the one vector. I'm going to hold my shift key down, select the other vector, and once again I will join these vectors with a curve, and you can see that I've done so, and then once again, I can delete the portions that I don't want, so I don't want this corner, and I can click delete, so I've essentially eliminated this portion of the border. Of course, I could go around and do the same thing on all the other street corners, and eventually, I will have eliminated the border, and I will only have my fan left, and it will be completely connected. So that's the use of node editing. There are several other functions in node editing to explore, but those are a couple of the basics that we use quite often uh, in the projects that we do.